Okay, so we got Mr. C. Uh, hi, his first uh, training session here. And yeah, I see the muzzles off. We've got the uh, tail going. And uh, interesting character. Um, a lot of very kind of like light feeling, happy-go-lucky vibes going on. But then also we'll get some moments where he'll get still and uncertain and a little bit of some hard eyes occasionally. So we're just being super careful moving super slow, um, cautiously optimistic. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like so far what we're seeing. Um, <clears throat> and uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, as, as far as like, well, it's great that he's just happy-go-lucky and, and feeling light, but it's these things can be super misleading. Dogs can move between states very quickly and so, it can cause you to actually let your guard down and feel like, well, wow, everything's great. And then all of a sudden something triggers the dog or the dog gets overly excited, overly aroused, and then things go south quickly. So gotta, until you really know a dog, you gotta be super careful. So anyways, so beyond that, we're doing his first um, official obedience command here, which is place. It's our first command we always teach and a lot of reasons for that. One, um, most dogs that come in here have got very kind of hyperactive, reactive, just kind of go, go, go brains. And um, typically those are working against them. Uh, so this is a great way to slow them down, slow the brain down and uh, get them just to kind of decompress, chill, relax, and also puts them in a safer gear for the most part, rather than doing kind of like snappy obedience or anything like that that could create arousal and then get them into a weird space. So. One, we're doing this to slow the dog down, calm the brain, get them into a better space, get a good feel for them. But then we're also going to use this as an actual obedience command. We're gonna build a lot of other commands off of this. And this will afford the owner a lot of um, different ways to uh, interact with the dog, communicate with the dog, uh, control the dog uh, if they need to place them somewhere, and all sorts of great benefits for the owner in just kind of a practical sense. Um, but then beyond that, it also helps inform us how does the dog process, right? This is our first training session, so I get insight into how does the dog process information? Um, how quickly do they process? Um, what's their uh, personality and demeanor like? Um, how, how, how much do they push back against what you're asking versus how much are they happy to work with you? Um, so. You can also, uh, you know, what kind of pressure can you add? And I don't mean like being overtly <laughs> pressure filled. I just mean like, can they tolerate like any prong pressure? Can they tolerate spatial pressure? What, is there anything that you have to be watching out for? This is a really great opportunity to get a lot of information about the dog. And so, <clears throat> very nice. Uh, so anyways, this is what we're doing first Thing. It's what we typically do first thing and um, we're looking to get a feel for this guy. We're looking to safely get a feel for him, but we're also looking to build a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be part of our program, but we're also trying to figure out who the heck he is so we can safely interact with him and also give his owners better information. Uh, but uh, so far so good. Uh, like I said, some, some really nice, light, fun, playful stuff but also some moments where he vacillates. So we're just keeping an eye on all of that stuff. And um, yeah, um, that's good news. And we'll keep you posted and updated. And also place command, it ain't just a bed. So um, anybody who's, who's just thinking that way is not thinking very deeply um, about all the different things that are available to them through creating uh, or training this uh, this command and all the all the benefits that can be had from it. So, anyways, that's uh, Mr. C, right, Mr. C, Charlie. Oh, he's he's knocked out. Anyways, that's Mr. C, and uh, we'll keep you posted on how he's doing. All right.